I was going through some of my gear the other day and I noticed how many and how varied an assortment of butt packs I had. And by butt pack, I mean the filled pack that uh, has been standard issue for the U.S. military since, good lord, um, I want to say the late 50s? I'm not, I'm not sure about that, but definitely by the early 60s. And um, it's seen a lot of changes. And it's fallen out of favor, some mostly because the the battle gear has changed from more of a a uh, patrolling foot patrolling H harness based gear to more of a um, armor plate carrier, more vehicle borne type of uh, um, of um, gear carrier for the individual uh, rifleman. But what I thought I'd do is go over the the butt packs that I have, and understand this is not a definitive evolution of the butt pack, um, not at all. This is just what I happen to have. But I do think some of the milestones are represented here, and we can talk about them. So let's talk about them uh, from the oldest to the newest, and I'll just give you my opinion of them. Now this is one of my issue butt packs, um, and it's seen better days. Uh, came with metal gear. I can remember using uh, needle and dental floss to replace the metal keepers with Fastex buckles, which was how we uh, improved things back then. Uh, the D-rings are missing. There should be metal D-rings there. Not sure where they went. I had cut off the straps and the keepers for the bottom because I never found myself attaching anything to the bottom, and that was just I was trying to go low speed, high drag. And um, and this was a, this was a great butt pack. This butt pack attached with the uh, slide keepers or Alice clips to the war belt, and then is attached via these missing D rings to the H harness or Y harness later on. And the Y harness was a bit of a stretch, but it, it would work. And the important thing about that is here's your your belt. And here's the top of the butt pack. By attaching the H harness to this, it held it up and it helped support the weight of the butt pack. And that is so very important to the entire functionality of the butt pack. And you're going to see as, as it grows bigger, they lose that one very important feature. And to me, that ruins all these other butt packs that don't have that feature. Moving along, we have the uh, the later iteration of the butt pack, and this was made to fit that load bearing vest that was that was really aimed somewhere good, but just just failed. It was just a it was just no, it didn't make it. But um, it it, it was made specifically for the load bearing vest. They got rid of the. Uh, the drag handle which I think is a huge mistake and and you're not gonna see that drag handle again and I think I think that was a huge mistake on these flat flat tops um, there's no reason not to have it and um, and I think that that was a big mistake the um, this butt pack was still a good butt pack it was uh, it was nylon it was all fast techs not a bad butt pack at all a um, little bit bigger than this one and um, more of a flat top. I, I really like how this one kind of kind of edged up. You know, it was obvious that the weight was meant to be taken on these things. This one was much more of a flat top. Now these are both issue butt packs. Now this is not issue, and uh, can't tell you where I got it. It's it's an okay butt pack, but um. Again, drag handles missing. At least they do have the D-rings. And it's probably about the same size, maybe not quite as big as uh, the one for the LBV. It is still made to uh, fit with uh, Alice clips. Little side note here. If you have any piece of gear, butt pack or, or otherwise, that uses the, the slide keepers or Alice clips, and you, you want to integrate it into a Molly gear, not a problem. Now, your regular uh, um, 
tactical tailor type molly um, uh, plastic keepers are not going to fit in there but you can get the fight lights and they will fit in there so you can always change things over now one thing I do like about this pack is it has the ability to put a third and fourth Alice clip on there and I think that's just a good thing that the more it integrates onto the belt and onto the support system the better so that's not a bad pack and that's still a reasonable size then you have the Molly 2 version I don't think they called it a butt pack I think they called it a waist pack and it's an interesting item I'll give them points for trying and for innovation but frankly it's not big enough to hold very much um, and it only integrates onto the pack itself it doesn't really integrate very well onto deuce gear um, now it's, it's a standalone item it has straps in here that you uh, keep hidden back in here that you can pull out and you can wear it like a like a fanny, fanny pack it's a waist belt and that's kind of cool because you know if you're wearing it with your with your gear you can slide it around and get to it and everything like that but um, I just really feel that even though in cubic inches it probably is equal to the original butt pack its dimensions don't lend themselves to just a whole lot of things now let's back let's back up and talk about that what is the butt pack for well really in my opinion and I I can't tell you that this is is any kind of stated official line but in my opinion it is to hold what we call snivel gear um, maybe rain gear maybe extra socks uh, maybe a, a, a poncho line or stuff like that stuff that is invariably fairly light it's really not made to hold an extra bandolier of ammo or or grenades or you know four MREs it's really not not made for that uh, you want to keep it fairly light and and if that's what this is going to be used for for snivel gear yeah it's not bad that's not bad but um, the way it operates is if you're not using the integrated waist pack you have these straps here that will strap on to um, to your uh, well I guess I guess you could put that onto any molly piece if you wanted to but it's really made for going on to the pack then we have the next iteration and they, they call these recon uh, butt packs and what they did basically is they had this um, union between the Alice pack and the butt pack and but what I mean by that is they put the three pockets that you see on the Alice pack onto a butt pack now they're not the same size of course but they're in the same place more or less and they're they're configured the same they've got the the pass-through in the back so they have they've tried to recreate the Alice pack in a smaller version and there's nothing wrong with that but it's like that's all they wanted to do was make a miniature Alice pack and the reason I say that is because none of these three in the back here and these are all three little recon packs well little all three recon packs none of them have d-ring attachments up here none of them and to me that is where all three of these packs fail because they're really not made to go onto an H harness and be supported the way they should be and their their growth in size and I mean there's some serious growth in size look at these guys when you put them up against the original look at that they just really grow in size and when they do that missing that um, d-ring attachment is even more important heck they even got a pouch up here so you're going to be putting more stuff up there so I think it's really important that that they do that uh, put some d-rings here so that the the weight can be held um, by the by the um, by the H harness now what about wearing these as packs I don't think that's a bad idea 
I don't think it's a bad idea to turn these things into miniature Alice packs. The only problem with that is you're not going to get it off. Whatever you're putting it onto, whether it be an H harness or even um, a plate carrier, you're not getting it off. Not easily. So uh, if you need to get into that pack, you're not going to be getting into it yourself. You're going to uh, have a buddy reach in there and grab some stuff. Now, is that bad? No, it's not bad. As long as you understand that and what you're putting in there is going to be, say, squad gear. If you're putting squad gear in there, I think that's great. I think that's great because your buddy will be reaching in there to grab extra ammo or to grab, um, um, you know, um, pop-up flares or, or smoke grenades. And in that case, it's on your back. It's up high. It, it, the weight is distributed better. I think that's not a bad idea for a small field pack. And so that's that's what we see here as we as we go on. Uh, this is a tactical Taylor brand. This thing is getting huge. I mean, it's really getting big, and, um, and it has the pass-throughs also. And I really think it's starting to get where it's not viable as a butt pack anymore, um, unless you had those D rings. If there were D rings right there, I could still see this is a butt pack, but but they're not there. And um, uh, unless I unless I attach them, you know, make my own, I just cannot see using this as a butt pack. And then we come to this final one, and this is actually an issue item. This is brand new issue. You can see right there. This is Air Force issue. Um, this is a huge butt pack, gigantic. Now, you can tell that they were thinking that it's too big for a butt pack because they put D-rings down, hidden in there, and it comes with a strap. So it makes me think this is more of a general purpose, just pouch, carry pouch, than anything else. However, it is actually called general purpose butt pack. So, you know, you be the judge. Um, without some sort of attachment right about here, maybe something hard that went up here. I don't see where it's viable as a, uh, as a butt pack. It's just too darn big. And here's the rule about, about space and pouches. If you have the space, you're going to fill it with something. So assuming this thing gets filled up, um, that's a lot to have on your back low. Uh, so I don't know. Now, am I going to play around with it and try to make it work? Yeah, of course I am. Uh, maybe some D-rings right here. Maybe that'll work. But um, I just really feel like it's getting getting too big. I really feel that the original butt pack is not improved at all, except for by the plastic attachments. Um, I don't see anything else here that really improves the original butt pack. I mean, it had the, uh, the attachments here if you needed to attach something to it. Um, it was just enough. I think it was perfection. And um, I, really, I really don't know that any of these guys have anything to offer that makes it better. That's how I feel about it. What do you think?